Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Shadow Empire and our Dune-like planet, episode number six. And let's start on a note of humor. If you want some comedy, just go back to the comments section in video five and scroll through each one looking for the quality of life comments, um, whether or not quality of life helps us or hurts us. And the comedy is, <laughs> they're, they're all very different. Apparently everyone has a, a different approach or a different uh, opinion or solution about what to do with quality of life and saving unrest and all those other things, uh, population happiness. So I think this brings us to a point, it's always good to mention this, I am very happy with the community that has been built around this channel. Um, it's such a mature group, we can have like really thoughtful, intelligent discourses, and that's always been to me, one of the driving forces behind doing this series is that I can interact with people who, you know, have something intelligent to say, may offer constructive criticism, or may say, hey, that's interesting, I didn't know you could do that, and I'm going to incorporate that into my play style because I also want to play in, like, an intelligent way. Anyway, uh, it's a great community, and people are going to be right, people are going to be wrong. Oftentimes, I usually it's in the middle or somewhere, right? there's some truth in what someone's saying. I like mostly that we try to, uh, look at, I mean, with people all over the map, Shadow Empire is such a compli complicated game, there's just so much we're gonna have to learn about it. I think a lot of people are gonna be wrong about things, a lot of people are gonna be right, a lot of people are gonna be right and not know it, wrong and not know it, etc. I mean, yeah, we're learning it. I've been playing this game for a couple months now. Um, I was in the, the beta testing even before the press um, teams were involved before the press stuff went out and I still don't know the game I, I could have learned it better probably spent more time learning it during that that time but even then Vic has been changing things so you never know anyway point is we're all learning this together and we'll get there but it's not going to happen by episode 7 <laughs> so we'll get there slowly and in the meantime, I'm going to try to say the things that I think are correct. I'll try to say, give a confidence level, and then you go ahead and do the same. And we'll try to, you know, see who appears to be right based on empirical evidence, blah, blah, blah. Okay, moving on to what we want to do this turn. We want to finish off these troops. The reason why I surround, by the way, is it's I think it's critical in Advanced Tactics Gold to surround units. Because there was one comment about, you know, maybe you don't have to surround so much. I'm just, I'm going to give my feedback you can probably play without surrounding. You can probably just push them, push them, push them back, 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 back. But I found that um, when they surrender, when you get the victory, if you have not surrounded them, a lot of them will just retreat. And then you have to fight the same units. They may end up killing another unit or two of yours in a subsequent attack. So the reason why I surround is because once they get to that surrender point, they all are immediately quote unquote, quote unquote killed as in they're not gonna retreat. I mean, the, they surrender, right? So that means that every unit that was retreating is now killed instead of retreating. So, you know, huge bonus, right? So that's the advantage. That's the advantage I see. And like I said, you don't have to play that way, but. All right, how do I wanna do this? I think we're gonna just actually, just absolutely kick this unit's butt. So I don't want to move in with, so what I might do is actually bombard with this unit and then attack with the militia so that we're closer to Cambridge. And I might even want to pull some of these units back, because again, we have, it's almost an, an unfortunate thing, but we have um, the Montenac Republic expanding in the south. So they've pushed all the way over to here, and it looks like they're trying to make a push against uh, Castello as well, which we don't really want, but hey, I mean, because we've done all the hard work, we've killed all the units, so this is, you know, it's my territory by right. You know, it's so much so that I think we're going to do something a little bit aggressive. We're going to move over here. And I think we'll just go ahead and start lining up our... I know I should be moving probably back into the city, which we'll do with one of these to control the unrest situation. But okay, so now let's do this regular ranged attack. I think this should just demolish it. I mean, we got 10 turns to get a hit. Please don't. We got some hits. Okay, good. Yeah, we're getting plenty of hits. This is good. So I think whatever it was, oh, it's down to <laughs> readiness of one. We've done it. I can, I'm convinced that this is going to be an easy victory. Enemy. 
you gotta be out of your cotton picking mind. <laughs> now, I. Um, I'm trying to explain this. Because I, I had a. After I hit attack, I had kind of this. This angel on my shoulder type feeling like, oh, somebody telling me not to do that. And the idea I had was, well, these ratios, are, are you sure that they're taking into a f account like hard attack versus hard targets? The militia is a hard target. I believe it probably has five millimeter armor, so I have to use hard attack against it. Um, and yeah, we failed. So I think that this is an okay result. I don't think that that was a particularly unlucky. This is just one of those situations where the combat odds are completely, completely off. They give you such a misleading viewpoint of the combat. Now, if there's another reason, so I'm trying to explain why I think that that attack went so poorly. I don't think it was necessarily uh, just unlucky. Um, how do I want to deal with this situation? Again, I don't really want to move further forward. Oh, oh yeah, Tina's here. By the way, history. Well, I guess, did we see the history last time? The attack up there and then just some movement? Okay, it's fine. So we're not too much, we didn't miss too much. By the way, we don't have anything we can really trade this turn you know, being down at three credits. I don't think we're gonna be able to make any money. So I would like to buy some assets eventually, of course, but uh, yeah. How are we doing city-wise? Just take a look, rock bottom, four. Yeah, anyway, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but one of my, uh, one of the moves I'd like to make is as soon as we are capable of getting extra bureaucratic points, which obviously we're currently not capable of doing that quite yet. But once we do have that capacity, I would like to, invest in an interior council. We gotta get rid of this governor, who's just garbage, who's not helping us at all. And uh, really a lot of low capacity leaders. I'm hoping that we'll have a lot better units, a lot, I'm sorry, a lot better, a lot better leaders, which will lead to just better productivity across the entire empire or uh, the entire Tor House Tortuga. And that feels a very House Atreides type thing to do anyways, to get good quality leaders. So having failed this, I think we'll still be okay. They'll probably go back up to 10 readiness. We're still holding the border. It's not, we're not gonna be penalized too much, excuse me, for that um, very poor attack. Um, we might as well do bombardment here. Because why not, right? Oh, we, and look at that, we got a kill even. Copy that. An eye for an eye. You kill one of my units down here, which thankfully, again, was just a... This is from the adventure party, the guys who made it from way over here. Uh, but you kill one of my militia units, I'll kill one of yours. I don't think that they're crying, you know, shedding too many tears over one lost militia, but neither am I. So, assets-wise, I don't think that there's anything we want to do. We really got to pick up the number of workers, and we can. As someone, someone mentioned, you can disband the recruits back into the... That's true. I'm not sure I want to do that yet. <clears throat> I don't think we need to do it yet. I just want my recruits around 6,000 so I have enough to raise a formation. And then also with a few leftover for replacements. So you can see it takes 5,500 for these. So that's what I'm targeting if I want to get another one. Otherwise, I think that uh, hopefully this is, we're in a positive derivative. We're not necessarily positive. I mean, we're at minus two. Hopefully we're positive next turn. I doubt it, but we'll, we'll see, maybe. I don't, really think, I don't really think there's anything more we can do this turn. Um, logistics is probably stretched pretty thin going this way. I would believe that that's purely logistics now. Yeah, you can see it. It surely is. Logistics should fade right here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So I think we, I mean, looks like we can still get back that distance. This is the only one that might not be able to. And then one, two, three, I guess this one. I don't know why is the logistics going all the way over there. I might as well just block it. But actually, there's no point in blocking it because um, it no longer saves. It no longer flows backwards. So, so we'll leave it just the way it is. Doesn't matter to me. And think that that's where we end our turn. Yeah. Okay. End the turn. Okay. Pretty interesting turn. Um, Mainly the movement that happened on the Far East border. Okay, we gained capable supervisors, that's good. I thought we already had that, but maybe not. 
we discovered water soil recomposition. Um, no, we don't need to create water. We already have a nice source of water. This is the unit I'm referring to. Apparently it moved down and then back up to the left. Which I cannot, do not fully understand why that would happen. I think we will be attacking with our big unit here just to get it done. Let's take a look at the history real fast so you can see what happened yourself. First, the big attack. Um, what's this, Etonia? No, no, Etonia is this one. Uh, Bar Bernador has continuously been attacking the militia up here, which is great. They're the closest thing we have to a friend right now, and I mean that regardless of whether they're attacking militia, but I also mean it because they're attacking militia, which is great. And there you can see the movement that this unit undertook. Didn't understand this, so it moved... Uh, yeah, so it moved... So it moved down to the right, and then it moved down to the left, and then it moved up to the left. There's actually quite a lot of unit, uh, quite a lot of movement for a unit that should have been at 10 readiness, maybe 30 at the highest. So it shouldn't have, it should have been lacking some action points. And anyway, I guess not. Um, I'm hinting here, just to make it explicit. I'm hinting that the AI might be cheating with their action points. Again, this is just something that I'm always going to be wondering about until I know. And then when I know, at least I know. And then I'll still comment about it, but it won't be a mystery anymore. It'll just be something I know which can happen. So I think we'll just do this, 178 to 1. Let's see how that goes. Not, I mean, it didn't go terribly, but it... I was surprised we lost anybody, honestly. That might have been, this one might have been a little bit more unlucky. And we will not move in there, so that's fine. Put this guy on the road. I, again, don't really think we want to move back. Um, I just wanted to capture... Yeah, I just wanted to capture this. And if we move forward, 20, we'll have... 20 left, which means... Well, it shall take 20, 20 to go into here, so we'll, if we move forward, we'll only be able to move back exactly where we are. And I think we're running out of um, logistics, so let's move back here. And this one... I think we'll just do something... Well, we can do bombardment. Let's do bombardment. We got lucky last time, we might get lucky again. Or at least doing some damage. Copy that. Okay, there we go. Landed some hits. Reduced their readiness a fair amount. Even in reduced their morale, maybe. I mean, we don't have very good recon, so that might not be true. But it might be. Okay, now the more important question. How is the city doing? We're actually even. Okay, so that means that the unrest should drop below... We actually should be positive starting next turn. We have one decision, instant with the traitors. Okay, let's let's try to pick what we can get. Oh god. Probably this one. Which is gonna mean Supreme Council is not happy. Oh boy. Got upset, confiscated their swords, attributed them to the free folk. The populace of Cambridge is angry. I insulted local traders, and there might well be some unrest. Yeah, we're gonna not take any unrest. So, I'm sorry, Galilean, I would like... How, what's your... You're a one-capacity unit. Yeah, we might just get rid of you eventually anyway. We're just... We're doing so bad. <laughs> we'll take the commerce, and I think this will create a... Yeah, it'll take... It'll mean that we'll be rebalancing out the government a little bit. The government will drop. Um... Otherwise, this is not going to make people too unhappy. Six. I just don't think we can afford any more unrest oh, okay. right now. So we'll do this. Bummer. Okay. Um, yeah, you really have to be relieved. But we just don't have the means right now. Let me take a look at the reports. Let's see how our organizations are coming. Oh, I got a secret service. I did get a secret service. Boy, I'm... I, in my head, I forgot about that. Okay, fine. So active field, spying, internal security. Yeah, we pretty much don't need spying operations. Standing by. So let's Order give you college. new priorities. We have enough political points to, to justify this, I think. 
Uh, let's put spying down to 15, let's say. And put this down to 35, and internal security. Actually, who am I kidding? Let's put this down to 10. And this down to 30. And that at 60. That's, that's fine. They won't go that way completely. It's kind of a... Some kind of average between what you already had and what you asked for. They don't go completely to what you wanted, but I think that'll be a step in the right direction. Well, economic bonus points plus 2,500. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll take bonus economic points. Double shifts for everyone. Hooray! I'm sure the workers love that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else do we want to do this turn? Any combat? I know that we've just been sitting here, but this is my style, is to just play defensively. How is our food? Gosh, our food is looking good, so I think that whatever food bug we were encountering is just something that had to ripple out of the system. It wasn't a real bug, it was something that we probably already solved, I imagine, with the level 3 farm. Um, wait, this is level 2, right? Yeah, Agrodome 2. Uh, let's go ahead and look and see if it's possible for us to sell anything. We can sell fuel. It's at 0.4. That's actually not too bad. We can sell water, which we'll actually want to do even though it's only 0.13. Probably sell 300 of it. Okay. We'll sell that. 39 credits. Yeah, I'll take it. And our SHQ guy got us a couple extra credits. Food I don't think I'll sell quite yet, especially it's so cheap. No to machine parts, so yeah, back down to fuel. We increased by 30. I don't know, I think I'll wait on fuel a little bit. Um, maybe the price will go up, maybe not, but I mean, the most important thing is I need to make sure we <laughs> aren't using more than I'm, I'm selling. Okay, everything looks good here. <clears throat> we'll keep all these units in, the, in Cambridge just to hopefully get them uh, unrest to continue to drop. And maybe we'll see some increase on this. I really hope so because loyalty is now below 50, so we can actually start seeing rebellion type events, which is terrible, but <clears throat> that's just the way it goes. It might also be possible. How much metal is it? 110. We actually could just get another light infantry brigade. Hmm. I'm going to wait one more turn, but I might end up doing that. Okay. So, hell, I, I might be missing something, but <laughs> that's pretty easy to do in this game. Uh, dude, I'll do the other double shifts next turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and end the turn. Uh, I did it, and then I remembered something. I want to readjust the Economic Council. Uh, Wade Star, I think, was commenting and saying that the prospecting is not that important. Yeah, I thought about it, and... Right now it's true. We I don't think we have anything that we can get from prospecting. But even so, even if that we could, I mean, okay, if we could get metal from prospecting, that would be extremely valuable. But I don't think there's anything left that we can get. In which case, we can get much more benefit out of the very little bureaucratic points we're putting into the Economic Council if we direct them to research. Oh, I guess we're just staying. For, yeah, you get to see the end of a turn. Hey, just in case you forgot what it looks like. <laughs> we'll just... I'll let you guys stick around for this one. Oh, attacked. Oh, they lost 200. We didn't lose any. This is, this is kind of nice because then I don't have to go back or most often I just forget to show you the history. So we killed 200. We have a new decision. It's all good. Okay, invest... Ooh... How perfectly appropriate. Oh my, how perfectly appropriate. Well. Okay, admin level, it may not get there, but we'll accept this anyway. Let's let's do this. We know exactly what we're gonna do. Is it in zones? No. Leaders? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, difficulty is way more than we have any possibility of <laughs> of getting, so we will not do this. 
Not yet. Okay, so let's go back to nation. Let's do this one, double shifts. More economic bonus points, hooray. And thankfully we don't have, oh damn it, our, it didn't go up. The unrest drop, is it because, why didn't it go up? High unrest dropped by, but unrest is only at eight now. Hmm, I'm literally scratching my head. Okay, well, it's got to start increasing next turn, right? I just can't, I can't see a way how it doesn't. Let's do the trick, the normal trick, to get our worker happiness up. Maybe, I don't know if it's been fixed or not. Let's do this. Go back again. Has it been fixed? Let's find out. It has not been fixed. Hooray, our workers are extremely happy. <clears throat> Must be all those double shifts we've been giving them. They're just thrilled with that. Um, population increased by 500. That's in addition to getting 500 recruits. So that's a really good sign. Hmm. I mean, I don't see any other way of doing this other than to continue to build roads. Because <clears throat> remember, eventually it's possible that we'll get all the way up here and we'll get that asset back, which gives us population happiness. And, you know, it's actually considerably, would be considerably important to be able to have right now. Is there an advantage? <clears throat> I still think there is. Sorry, I just got a frog in my throat suddenly. I think there is still an advantage of pushing forward. And the reason I think that is because I want to make sure that they don't get access to these roads. So they didn't. This unit is going to be cut off. There's no way in hell he's going to get any supplies, but he's okay. He's doing okay. And the main thing we need to do is make sure that <clears throat> the other, um, what is it? The, oh, not there either. Whatever that free unit from the Castellan Republic, the Castello Republic, there was one unit that we were, um, excuse me. There's just one unit from the Castello Republic, which we were bombarding and now they've disappeared. I don't know where they are. Just want to know where they are. And then we'll, you know, we would be happy to avoid, I mean, we just basically I want to make sure that they don't use their zone of control to, to reincorporate these roads or reconnect with the Montenac Republic. Now, the unfortunate thing is, I believe the AI, I may, I may even have wanted to give them this because the AI will probably end up building its own road all the way here. I have just no idea what's going on. Where is the town of the Castello Republic? How the hell were they supplying their people way the hell out here if, they're, if they didn't already have a city over here? Very confusing, but I don't know. Okay, well, what else do we want to do? Assets-wise, I mean, the metal's going up. The industrial points are sitting pretty. We're in no, just absolutely no, we have no way of getting to uh, industry yet. But maybe, maybe <clears throat> if we had enough workers, which I don't think we do, maybe we could consider constructing a bureaucratic office. Or maybe we just need to go with um, hospital. And the quality of life will increase our civilization. And I believe that'll also decrease the, uh, the danger or more quickly decrease the danger. <clears throat> so there is some benefit to that. Or we could just go with a high command HQ. This is probably the best bet for us. It'll give us a little bit of BP. It'll give us more political bonus points, but it won't take that many workers. Like the bureaucratic office, 2200, well, we might be able to afford that. Mm, I think I think we can. Okay, let's let's go ahead and risk everything for bureaucratic office. We have enough metal. We have enough. We okay. Well, we have enough. Let's do it. And then we can use that. I mean, those points will be used to give us more stuff. Hopefully, good stuff. I probably should still generate an interior council. It's not like our economic council is getting much research done. Might as well <laughs> divert funds away. Ah, and that reminds me. I do want to actually talk to my. Economic Council and re redo the priorities. So let's go down to let's just go down to straight zero on the prospecting. We'll get back. Well, okay, ten. 
We'll go up to 10 on economic policies, and that means an increase for both of these by some amount, which is good. This is what I wanted. Aye, aye, sir. And again, the actual percentages will be somewhere in the middle of what we had and what we set. Um, okay, we already constructed what we want to. Yeah, so maybe this will, I don't know, this could be it. Maybe we're, may, maybe, <laughs> maybe this is the pass forward. I'm not convinced, but let's hope. Um, civilization level, by the way, has not gone up. Civilization is the square root of your average zone civilization levels. Let's go over to our zone civilization level. Barbaric. And this is due to quality of life score. Well, if quality of life is higher than zone, it will increase happiness. If it is lower than civilization, it will decrease happiness. There it is. Explains it right there. High limit for zone quality of life is quality of life score average plus low divided by two. Health score. Okay, so we probably should get a hospital, if anything, because this will contribute to health score and health points, which may help ha happiness. Yeah. Okay, well, that's interesting. We, If this can just go up a little bit, that might help decrease our danger a little bit faster. Maybe. Well, I don't see anything else to do this turn. Oh, yeah, we got to get these guys back on the road. And I think that this is another candidate for decreasing... Um, our unrest, as well as one of our, would it be you? This guy's probably going to be out of supply too, but I do want to kind of get an idea of how, where, like, where is the enemy? And I don't know where they are yet, but, okay, now we know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm building this road here, right? So let's take off this, let the supply get split, because... Yeah, basically, we're going to need supply up this way pretty soon if we want to keep advancing in this front. Where the hell is the city, though? I, I really don't know where the city of Castello, or the Castellan Republic city, is in this zone. It's a mystery. Usually it's by ruins, but... Yeah, I don't see any ruins. It might not... Might not, might not be near ruins. I don't know. How far up... Yeah, it gets non-aligned here, so it has to happen somewhere over here. This is all non-aligned? Okay. Well, we know that most of the non-aligned stuff is... I mean, it's just going to be the Marauders, and we have been... We have been eliminating some of those. So that's good. <clears throat> okay, let me take one look at the... Food is looking good, water is looking good. good. So we can go to trade, and we can actually sell some stuff now if we want. Water can't, cannot... Food price actually went up, oh my gosh, at the risk of just tanking everything. I think I'm going to sell 200 food. It's a little bit risky, but I, I need the money. Copy that. Fuel, we're still doing okay. Um, I can sell 50 fuel at this rate for 22. Copy okay, that. let's just do it. I mean, we're trying to get something, something going here. At least we have 100 credits. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, okay, let's see how this goes. Just end the turn again. And this time I, I think I will skip and bring you back. Okay, well, we're up to round 19. That means, hey, we're averaging, what, like three rounds a uh, video? Might be a little bit on the low side. If I got to four, I'd be happy with that. Anyway, not too much happened last turn. As you can see, there's no, there's no fatalities in either direction. Just a little bit of movement. We'll scan through that pretty quickly, but nothing of like strong note. So again, the oh, I have Bernador, I always forget their name. They're helping us out with the militia or the Marauder situation. Marauders moving. Maybe this is the one who captured all those, uh, all that territory by the happiness asset. Okay. So what do we want to do? I mean, this unit, I don't think, could not, cannot imagine how it actually did get supply. That's pretty impressive. I didn't expect that, I have to be honest. Okay, there they are. So if we want to conquer this, we just have to go on a mad push. I think what I'm going to do is something like this, just to keep pushing that border. 
And this is just so I, I have a little bit of an alert when they start coming back, basically. Okay, something like that. Just again, trying to push. We'll get both of you guys into this. I think you will actually do a ranged attack. I don't think anything will come of this. I think it'll only be a couple rounds. Oh, okay, we actually landed a hit. Well, that's better than nothing. Something is better than nothing. Isn't that the old expression? How's happiness? It's up by two. There's been movement in the right direction. Okay, Bernador, yes. Scientific cooperation, it makes everyone happy. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, wow. Okay, this is an excellent turn so far. Now just show me the money. Give me something I can trade, sell. No, 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 no. Okay, well, you know, you can't, not everything can go right, but workers are up. How, how, are we having a worker shortage? Yeah, we are. So the worker situation is going to be a little bit rough, but I think it's enough. I won't sell food or water this turn. In fact, I'll probably cut back on the water, which will also help with the... This is water, right? Zoom bridge. I don't want it to bring up that menu, but I do want to make sure it's selected. Go to 50%, which is going to save us some workers, and those can be distributed to the other places. Yeah. We'll have that bureaucrat. I mean, only 0.1 left anyway, so it'll be finished next turn regardless. Uh, we need to get 500 money somehow, 500 credits to buy the transport hub. Again, a lot of people have been saying that you could... I mean, I've done this myself. Put a transport hub, one that you own, outside the city. You can put a supply base in it and get the extension bonus right away. So what several people commented in the last video, and another thing, by the way, if you want to see different viewpoints on how logistics work, you can also check out the video five or comments in video five. Uh, not as it wasn't as diverse as the quality of life opinions, but it was also there. For this one, a couple people confirmed, or re at least seemed to confirm my original understanding that the supply base can does not have to be close to the edge when the AP starts to drop off. Um, what two people said is that the extension points are used first and then the AP points are used after that. So I actually used to see it, I thought maybe it's been changed, but I used to see it that the, well, I used to put it at the very, I think I did a test where the extension, the supply base was at the edge and uh, then it used the extension points. But yeah, it's the, two people were saying that it uses the extension points first, which would in effect, if that's what's happening, it gives you five for, or it gives you 50 points for free. Then it doesn't matter where in the in the logistical route you use those, you get 50 points for free. Um, as long as you don't use it, I think after they start to decrease, because then you would only be extending the logistics. The amount of logistics you're extending would be less. So if it's like 100, 100, 100, 100, 80, 60, whatever, you put a supply base here. You're gonna get 60 60 60 instead of if you put it here you'd get 100 100 100 so you know it's, you, you'll probably end up with the same at terminating in the same spot but you'll be terminating before you terminate you'll be you'll have a, a little bit less action points somewhere in the middle okay right and eh, whatever <laughs> let's just try not to get too caught up on all that unrest is down to four it looks like just based on the number of troops we already have that'll be gone next turn so this militia which i was going to send back this way I'm now going to redirect up this way. And again, if we can, if we get so lucky as to actually, can we, did we take that this turn? Yeah, we did. If we get so lucky as to actually be able to get all the way up here and take that other asset, we don't have to continuously supply. We don't have to worry about the logistics. We just need to make sure that um, we maintain that. Now, I think what we ought to be doing is just killing this unit. And honestly, we probably should just take Costello, although we're in no condition, no condition whatsoever to deal with the rebellions and the unrest that's going to happen right after taking it. So <laughs> let me bite my tongue on that. Maybe we, maybe we simply cannot think about taking Costello quite yet. I think it's possible. We'd probably have to buy another... Um, group. We already spent our metal to get the bureaucratic point. Okay, yeah. Eh, it doesn't seem like that great of an idea. 
I would like the interior council though. Gosh, I just really would. How are we doing here? We could send some spies out. Do we want to? Maybe to Montenac? Who would we want to target? We could also target Castello just to see exactly where their borders are. Or we could target... Yeah, I think we should target Montenac. They're pretty big. Oh, the difficulty is actually really hard with them, so we won't. Let's target Atenio then and see what, what they're like. Okay, we got double the number of spies. Let's just get one more in there. Oh, well, we failed. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, it's fine. It's good enough. I don't want to end the war. I don't think. Recruit military. That's a good one, but we don't really need it. Wait. Normally executed by interior council. We don't have an interior council, right? Do I have one? Okay. Uh... Is this something which is going to go up? I'm wondering how her interrogation skill is going to be. Interrogation is going to be zero. It's based on charisma. So hopefully that goes up eventually. I have not looked in depth into the leaders and stuff and how they increase their skills and all that. But hey, I can read a line and her inter her interrogation skill is zero. So I don't think that that is going to give us a high chance of success. Um, considering our water situation is actually extremely good, I'm going to knock this down to 25, so we have... I know I did 50, but I'm going to put it all the way down to 25. Let's see how the water situation is with 25. And then I think we just end the turn yet again. Mm, is this going to be a stalemate forever? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Let's go. Oh my god, we got so incredibly unlucky. Oh my god. Gosh, so incredibly unlucky. Okay, let's start off with the history, because it's not good. Hey, look it. We managed to keep a promise? Two promises? Gain logical thought? What? VidCon Broadcasting, which would be great to have. Okay, so how did we get so unlucky? We lost our guns in an attack that we should have otherwise won. I mean, it was their attack and our defense. So they have 2,000, and we actually have a decent number of units, um, including irregular artillery. And for some reason, I don't understand if this is a bug or whatever, I'm seeing a lot of irregular artillery dying in these attacks. You would expect the artillery would be in the back. That's where it used to be in Advanced Tactics Gold, at least. The artillery was very hard to kill because it was in the back lines. You could do it, but it was, un it was unusual. And here, they're like front lines. Why are they the first to die? Nobody else died. They shouldn't die first. And then the militia just killing themselves off in the top left. Now we're at 38 minutes here, so we'll probably end the episode in this turn. I guess we'll take a look at the decisions. Hopefully, please God, please God, no. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. There's no... Okay, there's no rebellions or whatever. That's just what I feared. How are we doing? Stayed the same. Ah, this effing governor. Okay, so it's just we just have to remove him. I think what we need is... You know what? I know what we need to do. And that what we need to do is... Slash Supreme Council funding. Increase Secret Service slightly economic slightly but more importantly what we need to do is get a new council which we can just do by getting our secretary uh, we'll hire their candidate maybe they're better than the garbage we have swimming around here managers want to own mass economic okay so we this is not a bad thing to solar energy absolutely 100 percent we want solar energy um senator extradition i'm gonna read through this one because it's with benador but i think i'll do that next time so We'll pop off here. I'll I, these are ideally coming out every two episodes. The last since the last video, it's been uh, this is the there was two days in between, so this is the third day. I don't want to. I want to try to do it every two days. I I might end up doing it every three days just because that's the rule of the wave schedule. But we'll see. Um, but until the next one, thanks for watching and take care.